Marco! Yeah, like he said, I'm Marco, I come from Serbia, and in Serbia we play a little game, you know that game, Escape the Room. In Serbia it's called Escape the Fucking Country. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very difficult game, it's kind of like extreme sport. But instead of handing out medals, they hand out passports. <laughs> With passports, it's like with the medals. There are gold ones, silver ones, and they're the ones you can throw in the garbage. Can. That's how it works. So if anybody thinks I chose Vienna because of quality of life, this person is wrong. I chose Vienna because the bus ticket was cheaper than go to Germany. <laughs> and I stayed because of the unfriendliness, most unfriendly city in the world. That's what I like to say, the fuck away from me. <laughs> That's how it works. So I had to leave Serbia because in Serbia we have a soft dictatorship. And let me tell you, that's kind of like soft porn. Because <laughs> you know you're getting fucked, you just don't see it happening. <laughs> that's the truth. Thank you for this small little miniature applause. <laughs> That's how life works. And I left exactly in the year when Hungary built a wall on the border with Serbia. You remember that little interesting adventure? They built it because of the refugees, and the refugees were like, what the fuck are these people thinking? They really think they were going to learn their language and stay there? They must be insane. <laughs> Come on, get out of here. But I had to do it. I actually had to learn Hungarian. And it was a very painful experience. <laughs> and let me tell you, the whole world, this is an example, the whole world says Batman. They say, <laughs> In plural, <laughs> Two several Batman, <laughs> I'm wearing my Batman costume, writing several letters to several Batman. It is not surprising that the suicide rates are so high. <laughs> Sorry, Hungarian is like Resident Evil, but the nightmare never ends. <laughs> and then came the next, next challenge, wonderful language, German. And I learned it with a lot of enjoyment, because I'm a masochist. <laughs> and so many German teachers are statistical, so it was a linguistic match in hell. It was a wonderful match. I also had a, an Austrian girlfriend, a wonderful woman, and she wanted for me to talk to her during sex in German. And I did it because I'm a good person. <laughs> and then she did something she should not have done. During sex, she corrected my grammar. <laughs> Yeah, and that caused my premature ejaculation. <laughs> because I have a fetish for German irregular verbs. <laughs> that would work. But I'm punish. So I'm going to talk a little bit about my parents, but it's not going to be like with the psychiatrist, because nobody here is getting paid to listen to this. <laughs> I'm just going to put it out there. Uh, my father, since I got my first good job in Austria, he started to send me weird uh, messages on my cell phone, and I'll give you an example. He wrote me, dear son, if I was able to ship money, I wouldn't ship enough for everything that I need. Because here in Austria, we defecate gold and diamonds, of course. <laughs> That's what we do. We, even in the toilet, we try to be productive. <laughs> so I wrote him uh, gracefully back. I said, dear father, my asshole can only produce Sodexo vouchers. <laughs> and Amazon gift cards, occasionally but they are not considered legal tender in our country. He wrote back, you little bitch. You can exchange those for cash. Send me cash ASAP. So I send him a couple of hundred euros and he remains silent for a couple of weeks. Then he comes back with the same story and that's how I got into stand-up comedy. <laughs> that was my time, thank you very much. Thank you.